last two videos, we learned how to construct the input-output model and also learned about the input coefficient matrix. Now you must be curious to know how to solve this model. This video will show the steps to solve the input-output model. It will first solve the open input-output model and then the closed input-output model. The general mathematical formulation of the open input-output model looks like this. Y1, Y2 up to Yn are the total output of the n sectors. Y11, Y12 up to Y1n and to Ynnn is the output of one sector used as input in other sectors. The first suffix is the selling sector and the second suffix is the buying sector. FD1, FD2 up to FDN are the final demand of N sectors. Now this is the mathematical formula for finding input coefficient. Using this formula we transform the general form of input output model. Note that Y11 is now written as B11 into Y1 and similarly the other terms in the equations. This is a system of simultaneous equation. To solve this simultaneous equation, we transform it into matrix form. Can you recall how to transform a simultaneous equation into matrix form? I am sure you got that right. Now let us name the matrices Y, B and D. Y is a column vector of outputs of order n by 1. B is a matrix of order n by n and is known as the coefficient matrix. D is a column vector of final demands of order n by 1. In short, we may write Y is equal to BY plus D. Simplifying, we get I minus B into Y is equal to D. I is an identity matrix of order N by N. Thus, we arrive at the final matrix form of the open input-output model. The matrix I minus B is known as the technology matrix. The inverse of the technology matrix is obtained by using the inverse formula and is known as Leontief inverse matrix. Once the inverse matrix is determined, it is multiplied with the vector of final demands to get the outputs. If the model is closed, the column of final demand is absent. There exist only intermediate demands that is the output of all the industries will be produced only for itself or to be used by the other industries in the economy and this will be the matrix form of the closed input output model simplifying we get y minus by is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. Note that I minus B inverse may not be equal to 0. Therefore, Y equal to 0 does not mean that outputs will be 0. This is a homogeneous equation with right hand side equal to 0. In such cases, no unique output mix exists for the industries. In other words, a homogeneous equation may have infinite number of solutions.